In the airplane, we've got a battery, an inverter, we've got a motor as well, and so it's difficult to sim simulate everything at the same time. With controller hardware in the loop technology, we are able to simulate a wide range of things. We've got a real controller in the loop, so we can take into account all the imperfections, like the, the delay, the processing time, the drift in the gains and offsets. We do run in the Typhoon Hill a model of the battery, a model of the inverter and the model of the motor. And to control the inverter, we've got a controller. And so we can connect the controller on the Typhoon Hill and the controller will control the, the inverter. And from that, we can uh, validate the fact that the inverter is properly controlled. So when the battery gets discharged, its voltage will go down and so we can simulate that we are still able to provide the good torque on the motor. Typhoon Hill takes all imperfection into account since the real controller is directly used in the, in the simulation loop. We are able to rapidly simulate a wide range of failures in the Typhoon Hill environment and to check that the controller behaves accordingly without dam damaging our test bench. We can do the whole verification of the board without risking to break, break anything, to break a motor or to break an inverter. We can do it with the Typhoon Hill first and then when we are sure it works, we can go on the test bench. And then on the test bench, we can do it in, in real life, if I can say and uh, we are more confident that we are not going to break anything. Typhoon Hill is really great because you can simulate a whole range of things. More and more it will be in integrated in our de development uh, process and the more and more we will use it to verify and validate and so on. Quel test est vertigineux